Good morning, my name is Jackie Erickson and I work here at The Stitching Post. And for this video today, I'm going to demonstrate some of our notions that we have. This is a little kit that we just bought and it has OmniGrid spinning cutting mat in it. It has a little miniature rotary cutter and an eight inch by two and a half inch ruler. I'm gonna show you what I do with this. I love these products. So I'm gonna put this down. I just got done demoing some flying geese. And when I'm making my flying geese, this is what it looks like when it's sewed. If you wanna know about flying geese, you'll have to watch the next video. Okay. So I am going to cut this away. Uh, okay. I've already sewed it, so I don't need to sew this one again. I did it with dark thread. I normally would sew with cream or gray, but I did it with dark thread so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to cut a quarter inch away from this, and you end up having these big half square triangles left over. Leave them right sides together. After you cut all your blocks apart, come to your sewing machine. I use a little bunny tail so I don't have a rat's nest underneath my needle. And I'm just gonna sew. And this does not have to be precise because this is not precise piecing here. And I'm gonna finish it with a bunny tail inside of it so I can just run right off my block. Take that off. We're gonna press this open. And if you hit your seam and warm it up, it will press open much easier. Okay. Come on. All right. So that's pressed open. All right. Now, I have some already pressed open over here. And with this little mat, this is where it's really cool. I'm going to lay it on here. And I have choices of small, this is, we, I don't want to waste any fabric for my quilts, especially nowadays, the cost of everything. So we have a four inch, a three and a half inch, and a two and a half inch to choose from. If I try the four inch, it's too big. It, I need more block underneath there. The two and a half inch is too small. But with my three and a half inch, I still have a little bit of fabrics all around the outside edge. So I'm gonna lay it on there with the 45 degree angle on my seam. Then I'm gonna start trimming away. Here's the cool thing about the mat. It just spins. You don't have to move anything. Spin it. And one last time. And you have your block. And you can do this with any size block, but when you get done making a quilt, you might have a couple hundred of these things. And then you can put them together and do well, pinwheels, whatever you choose to do. Let's see if I get that pinwheel correct. Well, it's a scrappy quilt, so it is what it is. Oh well, anyway, but you can do whatever you want with those. And I use them for like kids quilts, charity quilts, but it's a way to utilize all of your fabric and it comes in a little kit. It's wonderful. I highly recommend this for you. Thank you. This is Jackie for The Stitching Post. If you enjoyed this, like our video and subscribe. Thank you.